Yeah, I teach the, the macro class uh, at MIT in the executive education. This is a two-day program. And uh, the objective of this program is to introduce the participants to uh, basic tools in macroeconomics so they can understand what uh, the world is around, to understand how to make better decisions regarding investment, uh, regarding uh, uh, participation of clients and operations in different countries. Uh, what, the way we organize this course is it has always four sections at the course. The first section, we understand uh, how central banks work, why they work, what are the ways of operations, uh, why they are so influential in the world, what are usually their objectives. So we actually try to get into the minds of central bankers to understand what they are doing. Uh, the second aspect is to understand financial crisis and how the banking sector evolves. For example, why banks go uh, bankrupt is, uh, is an important question. Then why they all go bankrupt the same day, that's called a financial crisis. And then how financial crisis propagate from one country to the other, it's a phenomenon called contagion. Uh, what we want to understand is here why they happen, how they can be avoided, or how to deal with them. Uh, for the last uh, 200 years, we have had uh, one crisis every five years uh, in, the, in, the, in different countries. So they're going to be here for, and stay here, so it's very, very important to understand how to deal with them. Um, third section of our course always deals with uh, trade and uh, why countries trade with each other. Also deals with the fact of why this trade is always a source of conflict. Uh, we want to understand, uh, for example, uh, why and what are the reasons between uh, the, the upset, how upset the U.S. and China are with each other and uh, what are the type of uh, uh, retaliations that can, can exist. Um, and actually, trade is always a source of conflict. It has always been a source of conflict for the last 800 years, and it, it will continue to be a source of conflict. So what is important here is to understand why this appears always, why in the search of efficiency you always, in some sense, tend to hurt some uh, individuals inside the economy. And so it's important to understand why this happens and then how to deal with this. And finally, the last section of, uh, of our course deals with uh, uh, offshoring and uh, investment internationally how you make choices about how to invest in different countries, where to open a factory, which uh, markets to, to supply, for example, which markets to get supplies from, uh, understand the roles of institutions and regulations in that decision, and actually offer a framework in which we can uh, do that. Uh, the way we teach this course at MIT is very different from the way we teach these courses or these courses are taught in other places. Uh, the way we teach at MIT first is to, we have two very particular aspects. First, uh, we apply our research to, to, our, to our sessions and uh, we bring our research and my research is about financial crisis and inflation and we bring uh, what I have done in research the last week and we, uh, we bring them to the classes. And the second aspect of what we do at MIT is that we teach through experiences. We're not interested in lecturing, we're, uh, we're, uh, we're interested in having an experience that is a learning aspect and it's a learning process. So what we do is, instead of teaching about the central bank, we simulate a central bank. Instead of teaching about financial crisis or banks, we simulate a banking crisis. And uh, we teach about trade and how so conflict appears. And actually, conflict usually appears in the, in, in, in the classroom. Uh, usually, our participants don't fight with each other, uh, but they understand where the sources of conflict appear. Uh, we're very excited. Uh, this course is, uh, is intended to individuals that are uh, making these international decisions that are dealing with international companies, that are interne dealing with international supply, individuals in corporate strategy, or CEOs of small companies. Uh, we're very excited about uh, the prospects. We have been teaching this for years, and, uh, and I hope to, uh, to see you here.